So how many of you saw that look Jerry made when Mpumi called out Yama's name when she when Big Brother asked her to choose a roommate? How many of you noticed that face? That face was very priceless. I will pay every dollar to know what was going on inside Jerry's mind during the split seconds when Mpumi called Liama's name. Guys, I welcome you to today's video. My name is Shooks and this is Powerhouse of Positivity. If you are coming across my channel for the first time, please do the need for hit the subscribe button, like this video, and let me hear your comment in the comment section. Don't forget to watch this video till end because there is a lot of details coming in. If you've been watching, you already know that Mpumi is the new head of house, and for her roommate, she decided to choose Liema, which came as a shock to most of the housemates, and even for us here, because if you remember throughout this uh, whole nomination process, from the time this season started Mpumi has been nominating the Emma back to back to back to back like the same reason she uh, she gives the same reason why she nominates her and uh, for some reason they found themselves in a troubled relationship with Jared and uh, I don't know what happened one thing led to another thing I think Mpumi decided to play the role of a, a more matured lady and decided to step back for Liam, if you remember when the whole trouble relationship happened, I, I asked the question, whom amongst these three people do you think will be the weaker person when uh, in this trouble relationship? At least we finally knew that it's Mpumi to some people, but to some people Mpumi chose to play the matured lady and uh, decided to step back. And I think it, uh, it kind of gave her a push because she, after stepping down, she went on to be the head of house and decided to pick her sister wife as her roommate which kind of sent jerry to all different type of dimension my guy was thinking in 4d 3d and uh, we'll see how this week will go and uh, what these ladies will be up to inside the head of house room and how they will damage jerry's name because guys it's time to pay the piper jerry's time in that house is almost over because remember the same thing that happened to yemi when he was in the titan house he was playing the same game plan that jared was playing but immediately the whole housemate started putting eye on yemi and uh, calling him out on what he was doing yemi kind of lost his game so jared is the same thing that happened to yemi is about to happen to jared because right now every person in that house is kind of calling out jared and uh, stating the fact that he's playing both yema and mpumi so we'll see how long he will last so guys the team of this week is facing your fear big brother called his housemate and gave them the brief told them that halloween came early for them because for this week they will be facing their fear from everything they will be doing from now till friday mpumi came first after competing in the final rounds with z and uh, as for being the head of house you have to select a roommate and uh, for her she kind of asked biggie if she will go to the house alone that she doesn't want and uh, biggie told her to do whatever she shows and she decided to change her mind and go with Liam, which which kind of came as a shock to all of us because we didn't see that coming but that choosing of Liama gave us the most epic picture in the history of reality tv i'm talking about the face jared made when mpumi shows Liama. but guys the reason why we are here is to talk about the nomination process if you guys remember yesterday during the live eviction show Lawrence made us know that during this week's nomination process there there will be a twist but we'll talk about the whole twist first of all let me give you the list of housemates and how they nominated for this week's nomination process big brother scrapped out the whole save and replaced in the whole veto power big brother scrapped it out and if you remember for the past two weeks this housemate have been uh, doing the face-to-face -face nomination but for this week we went back to the whole going back to the going to the diary room and then nominating so one after the other i'm gonna give you the list of housemates and how they nominated including the reasons first off mpumi mpumi nominated jared and rato modise for her reason of nominating jared she felt like jared was using both her and Liema to play his game that jared doesn't have an individual game plan of his own that his game plan only revolves around her and Liema, which is a solid reason and for rato she felt like rato is a competitive housemate in that house so Yolanda nominated Willie and Jared and for her reason for nominating Jared she felt like Jared is a conspirator that he sits down and conspires and uh, the whole conspiracy happens between him, Liema and Mpumi and with Jared gone the whole conspiracy group will scatter and for her next nomination she nominated Willie 
and the reason why she nominated Willie is because she wants to pay an eye for an eye. Remember last week, Willie as the head of house replaced Shuenza for Jerry. You guys remember last week, Willie as the head of house replaced with his veto power, replaced Jared and saved him with Shuenza. And uh, we all know how that ended. Shuenza was sent home. So Liam nominated Willie and else for her reason of nominating Willie, he feels like Willie hasn't been up for possible eviction before, so he needs to feel what others has been uh, failing. For else, the same reason she gave, uh, she feels like she doesn't have any genuine relationship or connection with else. Willie nominated Yolanda and uh, Rerato Modise, and his reason for nominating Yolanda is almost the same reason that Yolanda is loud, Yolanda is greedy, and Yolanda makes the whole house in a, uh, inhabitable for all of them. And uh, for Rerato Modise, he just gave a simple reason that Rerato Modise looks like his ex. For Jared, Jared nominated Yolanda and Makeke. For his reason of nominating Yolanda, he says Yolanda gets on his nerves. And guys, if you remember, that has been Jared's reason for nominating Yolanda. In fact, everybody that nominates Yolanda goes for the same reason. Either she is noisy or she is insubordinate or she doesn't pay attention or she is greedy or she makes the house inhabitable for all the housemates. So that's the same reason that the housemate keeps recycling and uh, paraphrasing. But for Makeke, he said his reason for nominating Makeke is because he wants to see Makeke go home. For Sinaya, Sinaya chose violence and decided to put up Papa Ghost and Mama Ghost. And his reason for putting up Mama Ghost, which is Rerato Modise, is he, is he felt like Rerato Modise kind of used him as a pawn for her game last week. For Papa Ghost, I didn't quite get his reason for nominating Papa Ghost. So if you caught the reason, let me know the reason why he nominated Papa Ghost in the comment section. And guys, if you've watched you this moment, I will urge you to please like this video. Let me hear your comments so far on how this housemate have been uh, nominated. And also, if you are coming across my channel for the first time please hit the subscribe button i'll appreciate that and don't forget watch this video to the end there are still some details coming through Z nominated Jared and Liema and for her reason of nominating Jared, she felt like Jared has never been up or felt what it is to be up for possible eviction. That the last time Jared was up, it was a fake nomination and no one went home. She nominated Liema and her reason for nominating Liema is she felt like Liema is lazy and untidy. Well, it was time for Papa Ghost and the first person on his kill list is Mac Jr. And the reason is also the same thing that he doesn't he doesn't even feel like Mac Jr. is useful to him in that house. That Mac Jr. is irrelevant to him in that house. That even if Mac Jr. stays or goes, so he felt like Mac Jr. is too is very useless. And the next person on his list is uh, Willie. And the reason why he nominated Willie is because he felt like Willie hasn't been up for possible eviction, and it's high time he stands up and feel what and feels what others are feeling. And uh, the next person on the list, guys, before I talk about Young Papi's nomination, can someone tell me in the comment section how old Young Papi is? Because I have watched this guy uh, during Monday nomination and his reasons of nominating, I'm not sure Young Papi is in, there, is in that game. I'm not sure he's in that game because every week he kind of gives flimsy excuses uh, in name of reason why he's nominating housemate and he doesn't give accurate reason, like reason that will make me feel like, oh, okay, this person is in the game. Like the reason he's always giving always stands up from his uh, emotion what the housemate did to him or what happened between him and that housemate and it's been going on for six weeks now we are in the seventh week and guys remember we are three weeks away from the end of the show so if you have to vote this is the moment to vote so let's talk about who young papi nominated Young Papi nominated Liema and Else, and for his reason of nominating Liema, he felt like Liema nominated him last week, so he's paying eye for an eye. And for Else, uh, he gave a, a, a childish kind of reason that Else called him short, and for that he kind of angered his. Uh, he kind of angered him. From my point of view, Else calling him short, Else calling him short, bruised his ego. But at the end of the day, the guy is short, so I don't see why that would anger him. But it is what it is. So for Mac Jr., we thought that Mac Jr. will have uh, Papa Ghost and Mama Ghost in his queue list because that has been uh, his mission throughout his stay in that house to send Papa Ghost and Rerato out of that house. But I think after giving the same nomination for two, three weeks, and you see that the people you are nominating always comes back, I think you kind of get uh, fed up and tired of that. So for this week, Mac Jr. decided to change up his uh, nomination. And his first nomination is Makeke. And his reason for nominating Makeke kind of stands from 
from the whole conversation he had with Makeke when Makeke told him that he will make it his mission to make sure that he doesn't win anything again throughout his stay in that house which kind of is a flimsy excuse for a reason and uh, for his next nomination he nominated Willie and the reason why he nominated Willie is during their Friday night arena game where Willie kind of gave him a false information on the key that he was supposed to choose so he, he kind of held that and uh, gave it as his reason for nominating Willie which is also a kind of rubbish reason for nomination but it is what it is at the end of the day one person will go home for Rato Modise, Rato Modise nominated Z and Sinai. For Sinai, her reason for nominating Sinai is because she says Sinai is so offensive. Is so offensive. Her reason for nominating Sinai is because she says Sinai is so offensive. She felt like Z is a strong competitor in that house. Next on the list is else else nominated Makeke and Mac Junior, the two M's in the house. And uh, his, her reason for nominating these two guys is because he felt like the two of them are so competitive. Last but not the least on the list of housemates is Makeke. Makeke nominated Sinaye and Jarid. And his reason for nominating Sinaye is because he felt like since his nomination that Sinaye will come for him. Because Sinaye is friends with Mac Jr. So he felt like the two of them will aim for him. So it's better he goes for Sinaye. And for Jarid, he said that the reason why he's nominating Jarid is because he felt like Jarid is a puppet master. He's always using people to play his game. That he's always there conspiring and using people to play his game. With Willie's nomination, that got the whole nomination process to a stop. And Big Brother tallied the whole nomination. So these are the list of housemates we thought we are up for possible eviction. Jared was up, Willy was up, Rato was up, Els was up, Makeke was up, Mac Junior was up, Yolanda was up, Sinaye was up, and Riema was up. Guys, if you think that is the end of the show, I am sorry. But remember on Sunday, Lawrence made it known to us that there will be a twist. So Big Brother decided to bring the twist after the whole nomination process was done. And for this twist, this twist, Big Brother called it Fate Room. So for this week, the housemates who are up for who are up for possible eviction will have to battle it out in a game in a two rounds game to determine who will be safe. And for this game, they have to play it in two rounds. So the first round of the game is a lucky dip, and Big Brother filled a box, a white box with a with two colored ball. For all the housemates that are up for possible eviction, they have to go and uh, dip their hand and choose a color. If you choose color red, that means you have qualified to play for the second round and. Uh, face your fate in the fate room and uh, all the housemates went all the housemates that are up for possible eviction went all the other housemates picked blue willie was the last housemate to do the whole lucky deep thing and he was and he was so lucky that he selected the red ball and with that big brother Osha uh, dressed him up in a white overall and uh, covered his head and took him to the arena which big brother designed and guys we'll talk about that design because that kind of looked like a place where you keep someone who is dead at least he saved Willie. so big brother Osha had Willie inside the bedroom with the help with the helps of the ninjas so inside the fate room, Willie was now left with his fate in his hand because he was stuck to play the game of spin the wheel. And on that wheel, Big Brother had two options, immunity or punishment. So if Willie spins the wheel and the wheel lands some punishment, Big Brother will give him a punishment for this week and also put his name off for possible eviction. But if his name lands on immunity, he will be safe from possible eviction come Sunday. So with his fate in his hand, Willie uh, spins the wheel for his first try. He landed in between punishment and immunity and big brother gave him a second chance to spend the wheel but guys if you see if you see the picture looking at the picture from willie's first try i think his, his first try landed on punishment but let me know what you think from the whole face room and the whole first try do you think it landed on the on the punishment or do you think it landed in between punishment and immunity but with that with that said big brother gave him a second chance and willie spent the wheel and luckily for him it landed on immunity so with that, Willie exempted himself from the whole nomination list. These are the list of housemates that are up for possible eviction. Jared, Rato, Els, Makeke, Mac Jr., Yolanda, Senaye, and Riema. So guys, all these housemates are up for possible eviction. Head on to Mzanzi Magic and vote for your favorite. This is where I'll be ending this video. Among these housemates that are up for possible eviction, how many of them do you think Big Brother will be sending home on Sunday? If you remember, Big Brother sent four housemates back in last sunday so how many do you think will believe in and whom do you think out of this housemate will survive let me hear your thoughts in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next one